Welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you today. I pray that today as we watch the service, I pray that you will bless us and I pray that you will cover us with your mighty blood. And I pray that as we watch, you will make us understand what the teachers are saying. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, believe and trusting, and we all say, Amen. Oh, we look to the sun. Set our eyes on our Savior See the image of love Sing His praises forever Oh, we look to the sun Oh, we look to the sun Come on, you're ready to praise God tonight Salvation
God, thank you for everything that you've done in our lives, oh Lord. Thank you for your protection of our lives. Help the children to learn more and more new things. For it is in just name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. Thank you so, so much, praise and worship team, for your lovely ministry and even for prayers. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. We are delighted to have you, boys and girls. You are most welcome to our service today. Wherever you are tuning in from, social media, Hope TV, Hope Radio, you are most welcome, okay? My name is Teacher Nancy Tele, and I'm delighted to take you through the lesson for today. And just before we go through the lesson, boys and girls, do you remember what you learned last week? Yes, you did. Awesome. You went through a lesson on beatitude. Do you remember what the beatitude was about? Great. Your be the beatitude that you went through last week was, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Amen. Teacher Carol went through the lesson last week and he, she shared the story of the the uh, the book of Daniel in the book of Daniel uh, about Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and the 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 lesson that came out was that God's presence was there God's power was revealed and God's protection was evident is it true boys and girls great thank you so much it is good that you remember are you ready for today's lesson, boys and girls? Great! I hope you have your notebook ready, you have your pen ready, and you have your Bible right there on you. And today, le today's lesson, before we start, I want to tell you a story, okay? A story about Jaden, okay? Jaden was walking to church and then he found some two boys playing and they were they had some little misunderstanding and it's like uh, one person was playing unfairly to the other in the game and it looked like one uh, didn't uh, accept that and was mad about it. Do you know what happened? They started fighting. Imagine they started fighting and Jaden was just there looking, uh, looking at them playing and having this fight and he got scared that, wow, they may hurt each other. Do you know what he did? He actually talked to them and he made them love each other again. He made them make peace together. And do you know what he did? He was going to church. He accompanied, accompanied them to church. And when they went to church, they fellowshiped even in the Sunday school and they had a great time. Boys and girls, you see what Jaden did? Yes, you know, Jaden became a peacemaker. So today's lesson, we are going to talk about the, one of the Beatitudes in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. Everybody say Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. Awesome. And the scripture says, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God. Wow! Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Do you see what Jaden did? Jaden became a peacemaker. He made the two get back together again. Boys and girls, would you want to do that? I'm sure you would. Let's see a story in the scripture about a, a, a person who made peace among two people who are not uh, who are not who had a misunderstanding can i tell you about the story good let's open the book of philemon chapter 1 verse 8 to 16 and in this scripture uh, paul was had a friend had a very good friend called philemon and philemon being his friend there was uh, 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 he had a worker called onesimus and they had a misunderstanding. What happened? Onesimus, as he was working for this man, he stole some money. He stole some money from Philemon, who was his master. And he ran away. He ran away and he went to, uh, to uh, a city far away from where he used to be. And Philemon, being a fr Paul being a friend of Philemon, you know what he did? He asked Philemon that they should get back 
together with his former worker, former slave who used to work for him. So the scripture says in the book of Philemon 8, 1 verse 8 says, um, I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, whom I have begotten while in my chains, who once was unprofitable to you, but now is profitable to you, to you and me. I'm sending him back. You therefore receive him that is in, in my own heart, whom I wish to keep with me that on your behalf he might minister to me in my chains for the gospel. Okay? And, and he said something very interesting. He, told, he asked um, Philemon, his friend, that I appeal to you, that you may ma bring him back and get him back to still work for you because he has changed, okay? He has become a believer in faith. And what did Paul say, uh, do uh, boys and girls? Great, he became a peacemaker. And he worked, he, he, he took Philemon, his friend, and pleaded with him that he may reconcile and he may make up with Onesimus, who was his worker. Boys and girls, would you want to be a peacemaker? This is Philemon. Philemon lived in Colossae. He was part of the early church there and even let other people worship Jesus in his house. That probably meant Philemon was pretty rich and respected and he followed Jesus. But Philemon also owned slaves. Today we know slavery is wrong, but back then, some people thought slavery was normal. Well, Onesimus, who was one of the slaves in Philemon's house, escaped and ran away to freedom. Along the way, Onesimus met the Apostle Paul, who was famous for telling people the good news about Jesus, who came to set the captives free and to give them hope. We're not sure how long Onesimus was with Paul, but we do know that after spending time with Paul, Onesimus believed in Jesus too. Paul and Onesimus worked together and even became good friends. Eventually though, Paul thought it was time for Onesimus to go back to Philemon. And because Philemon was probably upset with Onesimus for running away to freedom, Paul decided to write Philemon a letter. Instead of sending Onesimus back just to become a slave again, Paul said, Onesimus is better than a slave. He is dear to you not only as another human being, but as a brother in the Lord. Now this was probably really tough for Philemon to hear, and Philemon's friends might have thought he should punish Onesimus instead of welcoming him back. But Paul wrote, I'm sure you'll obey. I know you will do even more than I ask. Paul wanted Philemon to stop treating Onesimus as a slave and start treating him as a brother. That's because Philemon and Onesimus were both human beings made in God's image, and Jesus died for both of them. In God's eyes, we are all equally valued and loved. As Paul said in another letter, there is no longer slave or free, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So if Philemon was going to follow Jesus, he will welcome his former slave back, not as a slave, but as family. And that's a little bit about Philemon. Wow, nice. Great. It's good to hear that. It's good that you may want to be a peacemaker, just like Paul. Can I tell you something? Jesus became our peacemaker. He reconciled us with God. And what did he do? By dying on the cross of Calvary and shed his blood for you and me. And boys and girls, if any one of you who is right there watching me and would want to give his or her life to Christ, I would like to pray for you right now. Would you? Good. I would want to ask that you may just pray. I pray for you. Repeat this after me. Uh, boys and girls, those who want to be born again, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I come before you. I confess my sins. And I ask you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Great. Wow, what a wonderful thing you have done. You have become a child of God. You have become part of the kingdom of God, boys and girls. I would like to pray for those who are born again and they would like to be peacemakers, just like Paul. Okay? 
like Paul and what he did and just um, be a person who makes peace with others. Can we pray, boys and girls? Good. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for these boys and girls that even as they have asked to be peacemakers, you will help them, oh God. Come through for them, Lord. Give them wisdom and knowledge and understanding to be peacemakers. In Jesus' name, amen. Great, amen. Thank you so much for that prayer. And I believe you will work towards being a peacemaker, okay? If there are some friends you have and they are not together, if you probably you'd want to make a peace with someone, this is the time to do that. Would you do that for this week? Great. That is good. Boys and girls, thank you so much. You have had the lesson for today, being peacemakers. Guess what? The scripture for today is just related to the same. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. Have you written it? Good. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9, the Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Wow, what a wonderful scripture. Calling on us to be peacemakers. And I believe and trust that you and me this week we shall work towards being peacemakers, even in our estates, in our homes, in our schools, in our churches. Amen? Amen. Thank you so much. Boys and girls, today we will have a craft. And the craft will be about the same thing we have learned. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Good. Boys and girls, it's craft time. Yay! We are going to do a clock, okay? And what you need is a cardboard. You can have a manila paper like this. Cardboard. I, for mine, I, it's wrapped up in a flip, uh, in a foil paper. Uh, you can have even a, a white paper, any paper that looks round like a clock. And two arcs like this. One the upper side of the scripture, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Okay? You need a scissor, you need glue stick, and you need small pieces of paper where you write the numbers. One, two, three, up to twelve. Okay, boys and girls? Okay, good. And this is how it will look like. You will have the two hands. Uh, facing one facing 12, another facing nine. You see the scriptures. And this will remind us that all the time we are supposed to be peacemakers, just as Christ has taught us. Okay, boys and girls? Wow, great. It was so good to have you. And I'm sure you will keep what we have learned and practice it for this week. And it was nice having you today. Will you do the craft? Great. Take a photo, send it to your Sunday school teacher or your pastor, and they will forward it to us. We shall be glad to see it. Okay, boys and girls, God bless you and bye. Is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are those who mourn For they will be comforted Blessed are the meek For they will inherit the earth Blessed are those who hunger And thirst for righteousness For they will be filled I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever Yes.
mercy Blessed are the pure in heart Oh, for they will see God Blessed are the peacemakers For they will be called children of God Blessed are those who are persecuted Because of righteousness For theirs is the kingdom of heaven I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever